WA Premier Mark McGowan has announced his resignation just this afternoon. A shock bombshell announcement. He says he's tired. He doesn't have the energy to contest the next election. Let's bring in President of the WA Liberal Party, Caroline DeRusso, and Sky News host, of course. Caroline, this was a shock announcement. He has been in many ways, a very successful Premier, uh, purely from a political uh, position because his personal popularity was so high, over 80% during the pandemic. He also obliterated the Liberal Party. Do you think his resignation gives the WA Liberal Party a chance of getting back in a position where it can form government, if not at the next election, but at the one afterwards? Well, look, you, you can't pull someone uh, like this out of public life and there be no impact. Um, look, several people have said over the course of the last couple of hours, he's been in public life more than 30 years. That's almost as long as I've been on the planet, Shari. So, you know, we, we do have to be gracious even to our political adversaries for that level of, of public service. He was very popular uh, during the pandemic. And, look, I was one of his fiercest critics, but... Uh, he did play the politics of it very well. He did do incredibly well in that 2021 state election. And you, you can't take that away from them. Uh, obviously, COVID is no more. COVID is no longer. Uh, and we are now focusing back to the... the the, the more usual, I suppose you would say, uh, delivery and implementation uh, life of, of a state government. So mm. uh, his popularity has come off somewhat. He still does remain popular. But as far as the Libs are concerned, uh, we get on with the work. We've already started front-ending a lot of that work. Uh, we have already started that in relation to our fundraising, mm. in relation to our internal pre-selection reform and in relation to our Blueprint 2025, which is our candidate uh, and campaign training program ahead of the state election in March 25. Mm. I mean, he said his reason for retirement at this point in time, and it is unusual because he is still at the top of his game. Usually when politicians step down, it's either, um, you know, they lose an election or there's some scandal around them. He was at the top of his game. He just said he's tired. Uh, he's not tired of the job, but he's just exhausted. And that's why he's quitting. A lot of the commentary afterwards, Caroline, has focused on how hard it was for politicians during the pandemic. I find this a bit rich. I mean, politicians weren't in lockdown during the pandemic. They were putting everyone else in lockdown. They got to travel around the country at times and at least travel around the state. Um, but it was mums and dads who were dealing with homeschooling and working. That's, you know, it's mums and dads who are absolutely exhausted, not premiers. Well, look... The Premier, I suppose, is exhausted from the fact that they're on call 24-7 during that time. And while our state politicians uh, weren't necessarily under lockdown, definitely the rules that were inflicted on their... Uh the, their Liberal and Labor federal colleagues uh, who often had to uh, come back and quarantine for 14 days before uh, they could get back to business, that there was definitely gruelling. And it's difficult, to be honest, for our, our federal politicians, regardless of their political stripe on any normal given time, but it was particularly difficult during COVID. Uh, look, he did visit uh, a lot of diff difficulty and a lot... Well, not him, his government... Uh, visited a lot of difficulty and a lot of hardship on a lot of people, but ultimately it was it was politically popular, uh, and he he did well out of it. So Shari, it is what it is. But look, like with anything, we can't just keep looking backwards to COVID. Mm. We need to look forwards, and we need to look forward to what this government has to do now going forward, and who's going to be responsible for it. Because not only is WA losing its premier, it's also losing its treasurer. So they need to find someone. Well, not if, just, he, uh, to, if he if he is run the one. Who's but appointed? Who can also use the if if his treasurer. Sorry? Oh, sorry. No, continue. Caroline DeRusso. Yeah. yeah. Um, he he, um, he there's also going to have to find a new treasurer. So that there's yeah. going to be a big change into that government. And like you mentioned uh, in your opening to this, we have got significant state issues in relation to policing, in relation to social housing, in relation to health, in relation to law and order. And just because um, Premier McGowan resigns, they don't, they don't disappear as an issue for this government. Yeah. All right. Caroline DeRusso, uh, WA, President of the Liberal Party, thank you very much for your time.